Arizona's top court upheld a near total ban on abortion that was enacted more than 150 years ago. This really already having a major impact in the presidential race. Democrats, even some Republicans criticizing the decision. Fox's Marion Rafferty has a look. It is a dark day in Arizona. Arizona's Supreme Court ruled to revive a 19th century law criminalizing all abortions, except when a mother's life is at stake. The 1864 law, which predates Arizona's statehood, offers no exceptions for rape or incest. Instead, it further restricts reproductive rights in the state, where terminating a pregnancy is already banned at 15 weeks. Arizona's 2022 abortion ban is extreme, and the near total Civil War era ban that continues to hang over our heads only serves to create more chaos for women and doctors in our state. Critics say the law also opens the door for the prosecution of doctors who perform the procedure. In their 4-2 to decision, justices who are all Republican wrote, physicians are now on notice that all abortions, except those necessary to save a woman's life, are illegal. I refuse to allow Arizona to become a state where doctors are going to be afraid to practice to just do their jobs. As expected, Democrats and the White House are blasting the ruling, blaming former President Trump for the overturning of Roe versus Wade two years ago. President Biden writing in a statement, quote, this ruling is a result of the extreme agenda of Republican elected officials who are committed to ripping away women's freedom. And while some Republicans support it, others disapprove, but ultimately say it's up to Arizonans to fix the issue. It was an asinine, it was an asinine ruling, and I hope that Arizonans will fix it. But right now, now, the law of the land is that Arizona has to fix it themselves. The ruling comes just days after former President Trump declined to endorse a national abortion ban and said the issue should be left up to the states. Marianne Rafferty, Fox 4 News.